Can you spot the trap in this square root equation? This is the math guy, Steve. Solve, okay, so we got the square root of 3x plus 10 equals x. So, how we solve this first by getting rid of the square root, right? By squaring both sides, okay, got it. So squaring the left-hand side, we just get 3x plus 10. But squaring the right-hand side, we get x squared. And now it's a quadratic, so we get zero on one side by subtracting 3x, subtracting 10, so that gives us zero equals um, x squared minus 3x minus 10. And now we factor the other side, right? So we factor this side double, bubble, okay, x and x. I need numbers that multiply give me negative 10, combine give me negative 3, so say negative 5 and positive 2. Got it. And so we get 0 on one side, factor the other side, set each factor equal to 0. So x minus 5 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. Then solving each of these separately, we get x equals 5, and x equals negative 2. Okay? And that would be our two solutions to this equation. However, we have to check it, right? Because we could get extraneous solutions. So we have to plug it back in to the original equation and see if we get a true statement. So I plug in negative 2, we get the square root of 3 times negative 2 plus 10. Is that equal to negative 2? Well, that's 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 10 is 4. And so the square root of 4, is that equal to negative 2? Well, this square root is by itself, meaning it's the principal square root of the positive square root. So the positive square root of 4 is positive 2, which is not equal to negative 2. In other words, negative 2 is not a solution to this equation, okay? So we plug in 5, we get the square root of 3 times 5 plus 10. Is that equal to 5? Well, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 10 is 25. So the square root of 25, is that equal to 5? Again, the principal square root, so the positive square root of 25 is 5, which is equal to 5. So that checks out. So 5 is a solution, whereas negative 2 is an extraneous solution. Always remember, math is everywhere.